Hi, I'm Josh Serpa. I'm the founder and CEO of AeroScience. We're an ag tech company that focuses on water conservation products for agriculture. I'm the inventor of the microfog atomizer and a number of other products. So what is dry fog? Uh, in order to understand what dry fog is, you have to understand what a micron is. And a micron is extremely small. If you took a millimeter and you cut it into a thousand parts, one of those parts would be one micron. So dry fog is zero to 10 microns. And just for reference, a human hair is around 100 microns, and it's hard for the human eye to see below 30 microns. So dry fog is zero to 10 microns, it's extremely small, and it evaporates. So when dry fog gets into air, it evaporates and changes the moisture content of the air. Zero to 10 microns is what we focus on, that dry fog range. Fog is bigger, it's up to 30 microns, and mist goes up to around 100 microns and then spray can be up to say 250 microns. And it's beneficial because at zero to 10 microns, you get complete coverage. Also, uh, microbiology, uh, specifically microbes, are around one micron. And our water droplet size is around eight microns. So our water droplet can deliver microbiology to plants. And that adds a lot of benefit. So dry fog again is zero to 10 microns in size and it evaporates into air. So the key product to AeroScience is the microfog atomizer. This new version made out of carbon fiber is about 75% more cost effective. This dry fog atomizer takes compressed air and water and makes a zero to 10 micron dry fog. Our actual dry fog droplet size is around eight microns. And that's beneficial because fungal spores, if you're foliar spraying those in, are three to five microns. So this product right here is the key to AeroScience, the microfog atomizer. So there's six main uses for dry fog. Uh, number six would be dust and smell suppression. Dry fog is used industrial on mining operations and in chicken farms and hog farms to reduce the smell or to reduce the dust. The number five use for dry fog would be sterilization. Dry fog is used in hospitals to sterilize surgery rooms to kill molds, bacteria, and viruses. You have to put something into the water in order to make dry fog a sterilization media, but it, it can be done. So the number four use is evaporative cooling. Dry fog is used in greenhouses and also in HVAC systems to cool the air. By adding dry fog to the air, it evaporates and lowers the temperature of the air. So the number three use I see for dry fog is humidification. Dry fog is really good at increasing humidity in air. It's used in greenhouses and it's also used in wine barrel storage rooms. Uh, to keep the barrels from cracking or uh, drying out. The number two use I see for dry fog is foliar feeding. Dry fog is extremely efficient at coating the leaf surface, so dry fog nozzles can be used in a greenhouse to automate the foliar spray process. And the number one use I see for dry fog is aeroponics. Uh, the two main reasons being dry fog is extremely efficient with the use of water and the micron size of the dry fog allows root hair to grow in an aeroponic environment. Not many uh, delivery systems can do that, but dry fog can. So there's some major benefits to dry fog. I'll talk about them here. The first one's automation. By Using dry fog nozzles, you can automate a lot of the processes in your greenhouse or in your indoor room. Since the nozzles are driven by compressed air, uh, it, it allows for an easy, uh, easy way to control uh, the automation process. The number two benefit is you're going to lower your labor costs. By automating the foliar spray process or the humidification process, you're going to lower the amount of labor costs that you have for your greenhouse growth. 
The number three benefit is going to be you're going to reduce the health risks to your employees uh, because they're not going to be in the space spraying on organic pesticides or anything like that. It's all automated, so they, there's no health risk for your employees, which is actually a big factor, a major cost. Um, the number four benefit I see is you're going to lower your integrated pest management costs. So all those expensive microbiologicals and things you might be spraying on your crop, you're going to reduce the amount of those substances that you're going to use. The number five benefit is you can also reduce your nutrient costs and your foliar spray uh, costs for the actual fertilizers that you're using, say, in an aeroponic system. Another benefit is you're going to increase the plant health. This is probably the most important thing. Your, your plants are going to be a lot healthier because they're not going to have mold spores all over them. They're not going to have bacterial infections. And you can even control some viral infections with dry fog. And then for everybody who's into this, you can control the VPD. Uh, basically, the vapor pressure deficit is a complicated thing, but with dry fog, you can control that as well. So those are the seven benefits I see for dry fog. Aeroscience has some new products for 2020. We've got the new carbon fiber nozzle that's about 75% more cost effective than the stainless steel version. We've also got the new octo foggers, which are ideal for humidification. And we've got the new fog wands in 2020. project uh, called the Aero Tray, which is a fully insulated dry fog aeroponic system. That'll be available through Monster Gardens, so check them out online. And thanks for watching.